The Frank Haith Show. Brought to you by Don Thornton Cadillac, Pepsi, River Spirit, TTCU, The Credit Union, Bill Knight Ford, and St. Francis Health System. And now your host, Bruce Howard. Hello again, everybody, and welcome to the Frank Haith Show. I'm Bruce Howard, joined by the head basketball coach at the University of Tulsa, Frank Haith. And coach, you were this close to being unbeaten in the week. I mean, the one-point loss, a tough one, uh, you know, in Philadelphia against Temple, but then a great bounce back win against Memphis. Yeah, you know, up in Philadelphia, I thought our guys played extremely hard. We, we control that game uh, up until the last minute of that ball game. Uh, you know, then we had great resolve and come back here and play a, a Memphis team that's really hot, one four in a row. And I thought our guys competed extremely well and gave ourselves a chance. So the Hurricane on the road to Philadelphia in a moment. We'll be back and get the highlights of Tulsa at Temple. That's next on the Frank Haith Show. We're back on the Frank Haith Show. And coaches, you get ready to go to Philadelphia to take on Temple. Gosh, the games there have been just unbelievable since you've uh, been here. Yeah, we, we've had some really good games there. You know, we had the double over the overtime game there. Mm -hmm. They won, but our team's played well in that, in that building. And, uh, and we had another good one uh, the other night. So I thought our guys played extremely well. Yeah, you're ready to play. It's Philadelphia, it's Temple, and it's a Temple team that is certainly a whole lot better than their record would indicate. They came in one and five coach in the league, but they had some great non-conference wins, didn't Great non-conference wins and, and their one conference wins against, uh, on the road at SMU. And, you know, they lost to Cincinnati in a last second shot, so they've had some close home losses also. There you see Martin's going to on a stick back there early to start this game, and he's, his play has really, really taken off here the last couple games. And the Golden Hurricane looking for the tie here, and you'll get it with Junior E2. Nice turnaround jump shot by Junior. I think Junior is really starting to, you know, this game he's starting to get back to himself a little bit. And a guy that's really coming on for you and playing consistently is Lawson Corita. Yeah, double figure game for Lawson. You know, ready hands, ready feet, right there. Uh, nice pass out by, by Martins. So Lawson Corita with that basket, and as you can see, the score here is 11-11, and the Hurricane would take the lead with Corey Henderson. Yeah, good skip pass by uh, by, by Tap there on the roll. They had a different tag guy, and he saw the open guy. And Lawson Corita would pop free and knock in a three for you, and he would end up with 10 points in the ball game. When you see right there, it's a low scoring game, but our defense is playing really well. And there's a, you know, Corey with the steal and, and a ball ahead to Lawson for a finish for a layup. And we'll get another look at that. Very nice play by uh, Corey Henderson. His defense has improved, hasn't it? Really improved. I, I can't tell you how pleased I am with his uh, paying attention to detail and his activity on the defensive end. They have a lot of guys that can put the ball in the hole. One of them is Quentin Rose from long range, his three pointer. Makes it to 20 to 19 in favor of Temple. Yeah, Quentin uh, hit some big shots for them, and uh, you know we came right back, and there's Corey putting one back in. Kind of a shooter's roll there. That was kind of an ugly three, but it went in, and that tied the game at 22-22. And then down the back stretch here in the first half. Good finish by Tap on a drive, you know, and I think we ended up tying the game up at the half here. Yeah, you get a good defensive stop and a chance to run out. And Kaplan ties the ball game up at 26. Temple did not score in their final possession. So you go in at halftime uh, with a 26-26 tie. Your thoughts in the first 20 minutes? Yeah, I thought, you know, type of game we play against Temple. Just a rugged game, good defensive game. Uh, you know, we had a little bit too many turnovers there in the first half. Uh, but we're right there where we need to be. Yeah, neither team shooting the ball well at all. Both teams there in the 30s. But we get ready for second half playing. Your team jumps out to the lead here in the early part of the second half. We went right inside, and that was our, our goal. We, there are two big guys that foul trouble, uh, you know, so we went right inside. There, there we are again, going back inside to Martins, and, uh, and you know, he's, him being productive in the paint area. And again, being patient and finding that little opening to get the, the uh, short five-footer in there, and Tulsa has the lead at that point. Again, a paint touch. We talk about paint touches, and there's Tap getting in the paint and throwing out to Junior for a wide open three. Junior would have 12 points, but more importantly, he would have 15 rebounds to establish a new career high for him. Very active on the boards, and there's another uh, throwback on a ball screen, quick one ball screen, and Junior knocking another three down. 
And again, you're starting to ease out to a, to a decent lead. I think the lead would be as large as a seven or eight here in the second half. Yeah, seven, eight with a chance to go to 10, I think. And you know, this, this might be that stretch right here. Good, good shot by Tap saw the mismatch and, uh, and uh, good finish. By three, but now roll that thing in and Tulsa's up now 41-35, the lead up to six. And Sterling Taplin also would have a play here. Yeah, they, they switched on ball screens and they got switched with their big guy guarding tap and he did a good job of getting to the rim against their big guy. And this would be your largest lead. It would end up being seven. What a terrific pass by Lawson Carita. Yeah, nice. They were pressing out on us and a good flash and obviously a good pass, a good finish by Quan. Now back comes Temple and they never really lost contact with you even though you had the seven point lead. They stayed within striking distance. Yeah, we missed a layup there. Uh, you know, could have taken a 10 in that stretch there. But uh, Kern, nice bucket by him. Uh, you know, baseline full up Jay. A needed bucket for the Golden Hurricane. And as you can see, Tulsa up by two and now, or by one, and now make it three on the swooping layup by Jaleel Wheeler. Really nice move. Really nice layup against their big guys. And they got good length in there. It's a really good finish by Jaleel. So now you figure, well, let's get it back inside and Martin Zigbano. Nice pick and roll. I mean, that's a good, good ball screen offense right there and good finish. And so the Hurricane, again, as you can tell, they're, they're keeping Temple at bay, but not far enough where you can feel very comfortable. Huh? No, good ISO, you know, we'll clear out the backside, throw it over the top, and uh, good finish by Martin. So we were up five right here with 352. Wow. And now you're up by two. And Junior E2 off the good assist by Lawson. Yeah, nice penetration, good pass. You know, we're, we're still right where we're in control of this game. You know, we just got to finish it out. About two and a half minutes to play. Lawson Carita was alert and got the put back. Got the offensive stick back. Uh, we were up four, 2.30 left to go in the game. And this is a play that you were very upset about because Anecioni is a good shooter. Yeah, he is, and we just lost sight of him in the out-of-bounds play, and that was big. I mean, if we got that stop and we're up four with the ball with, you know, less than a minute left to go in the game. And what's not in here is, of course, a couple of turnovers which kind of yes. turned the game. Right? And that, that, that was, that's, that's what did get us in. And, uh, you know, we, they only had 14 fouls, and you saw there at the end, they were very aggressive. And, you know, with their, we had, we, I thought we played that part out pretty good, and even though we didn't get a chance to get a shot, I thought one of those were a shot attempt by Junior, but we did, it didn't happen for us. And there you see the uh, final numbers with Junior E2 and Martin Zigbano, both with uh, 12 points in the ball game. But there's no question about it. You turn the ball over late and lose a game at the buzzer by one point. That's a tough one, isn't it? Coach? It was a tough one. I thought our guys really, you know, you know, we, points off turnovers and an offense rebound really hurt us. In a moment, we'll be back and see how Tulsa bounced back at home against Memphis on the Frank Hafe Show. Well, the Golden Hurricane after the tough loss in Philadelphia, getting ready for a home date against Memphis. And Coach Memphis was the team that started you on the four-game slide, and now you knew you had to pay them back and, of course, stop your losing streak. Yeah, and in the meantime, they, that started their four-game winning streak. So we were playing a red-hot Memphis team in here, uh, a team that's playing extremely with a lot of confidence in a Important game for us. Absolutely. The Hurricane lost the earlier game by nine in Memphis. So no doubt about it, a very important game. A really nice crowd out there. And uh, they were very active in the game and helped your team a little bit. Really did. I thought our crowd was outstanding, our students. And there you see early, early in the game, Corey Henderson pulls up three. And, you know, he's shooting the ball pretty, really well right now. And so you had the early 3 nothing lead, but as you can tell, Memphis on a 5-0 run, and then Junior E2 nails that one. Yeah, nice pull up, Jay, uh, by Junior. Uh, good, good finish. I had asked you a couple of games ago, what did you have to do to get to Daquan Jeffries going? And, well, he got it going, didn't he? He did. He was outstanding off the bench, you know, and, uh, you know, that was really good offense. We didn't see that whole possession, but a lot of paint touches and, and sharing that ball. Speaking of paint touches, Jaleel Wheeler with the layup on the paint touch, and uh, he got fouled on the play, and he continues to, uh, you know, to get to the rim for you. Yeah, you know, he and Quan both, there's Quan again, you know, 37 points off the bench for both those guys, and, uh, you know, we had great production off our bench. And the Hurricane now up by seven. Good, strong inside move. Yeah, nice step through uh, post move by Martin Zibano, and uh, obviously good finish with his left hand. And we like to see him use that left hand a lot more. And again, here's Daquan Jeffrey scoring in a little different way. Yeah, they, you know, they went zone and they, the soft spot in the zone is that mid post area there and Daquan caught it and 
had a nice finish and they're, they're staying in the zone right here again and there's of course shooting one from about 30 feet. Yeah, that was NBA range, no question. And the Hurricane back up by uh, eight at that point. And there he is again. Yeah, off the bounce, you know, Corey's, Corey can shoot it off the bounce too and when he gets his rhythm going. Corey would also have a really important second half basket when the game got really tight that helped unlock things for the Hurricane. He lost Greed a nice pocket pass in our pick and roll offense, and uh, he's one of our better guys at making that pass and, 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 and Marge's good roll there and good finish. And you would have a lead as large as 16 in this game thanks to plays like this. Live ball turnovers, we need a lot of those, and that's good. Quan using his length and explosiveness and getting out and, 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 and great finishing transition. And remember, of course, he has the right hand injury, so he's not afraid to get to the rim now anymore. No, no he, I think he's over that injury. You can see we're shooting 46% from the floor, and you know, I thought our guys, you know, defensively were outstanding, held them to 26%, so it was a good half for us. Yeah, really good half with the score, 33-20 at halftime, but as you might expect in most games, the other team does make a run, and the Memphis Tigers would make a run, especially early on in the second half. And uh, you see Tulsa's wearing the black on the blackout, so it's Memphis in the white, and that's uh, uh, Jeremiah Martin, their fine player with a bucket. Yeah, and he, you know we knew he, we did a great job on him in the first half, and we knew he'd get going back in there. There's Quan again uh, with a three-pointer in the corner, and nice pass by Eli, and, and you know he's really worked hard on his shooting since he's been here and, and made great strides there. So Tulsa's back up by nine. You would not lose the lead in the second half, but there would be some dicey moments, and there's Daquan Jeffries again. Yeah, that was a possession. They really got out, tried to deny us, and Daquan just took the ball right to the rim. And that three-pointer knocks the lead down to uh, two at 45-43. That would be as close as Memphis would get, and that's a nice play inside by Jaleel. Yeah, good out-of-bounds uh, execution right there. Good pass by tap, good finish. So again, you're up by two, and a good finish inside again by Martin. Paint touch, paint touches, paint touches. So that basket gives you a little bit bigger lead, but again, you see that they have knocked it back down to two, and that's that three-pointer I was talking about by Corey Henderson. Big time shot for you to give you a five-point lead. Yeah, it was after ATO, double back screen, and it freed him up, and he got a good look, and uh, obviously it was a huge, huge basket. Corey would have 12 points in the ball game. Good defense here. Active hands, you know, our zone, we want active hands, and. Uh, you know, good, good one pass right there to Jalil, a nice uh, slashing move to the basket. And so the Hurricane on the Wheeler basket now upping the lead to seven, still not out of the woods yet, but boy, that's a big three-pointer by Daquan with about uh, seven minutes to play. Yeah, another good pass by Tapp, and uh, you know, our, down the stretch here, we were really outstanding defensively with our traps, and we knocked some balls loose. And, uh, you know, I don't know if they made a field in the last eight minutes of this ball game. And this is the play of the day, if you will. What a terrific play by the Golden Hurricane and uh, sharing the ball, but also, you know, combining to get the steal. And your half-court trap was effective not as much early, but late it was, wasn't it? It was, and that's the whole deal was just staying with it. And hopefully, you know, you just, you know, you're aware people just got to, they got to they gotta execute against it consist consistently. And so that one for the Golden Hurricane give, giving TU back their uh, double-digit lead. And there you have the follow-up by Igbanu with about a minute and a half to go. And that gave you your final margin of 64-51. Really satisfying victory, wasn't it? Really good win. And, and, and we did, you know, we played well on offense, played well on defense. Uh, you know, we executed down the stretch well. And, uh, you know, very pleasing win. For the Golden Hurricane, Daquan Jeffries establishing new career highs with 24 points, 11 rebounds. Good to see that guy really get it going, wasn't it? I tell you, we mentioned it. You know, our bench had not been that productive last game. It was great to get the production out of those two guys this, this past game. Absolutely. The Hurricane with the win over Memphis. In a moment, we'll be back with more on the Frank Hape Show. It's baseline to baseline with Lawson Carita, sophomore guard for the University of Tulsa from Little Rock. And uh, Lawson, you've been here about a year and a half. What have you learned? I've learned a lot from all the seniors and Coach Hayes, Coach Hayes is a really good uh, coach, but all the seniors have shown me a lot and have progressed my game. Tell us about your dad who had a pro tennis career. Yeah, um, he went to SMU for two years and then went pro and was on the tour for a couple of years and then hurt his shoulder and was done with that. And what did he teach you? He taught me that I don't like tennis, honestly. <laughs> it's not a sport I can deal with. So you fell in love with basketball early? I did, yes sir. 
One of your favorite phrases is talent and hard work. Explain what that phrase means. Uh, hard work means talent. Talent fails to work hard. So you got to work hard all the time because talent can't always take you all the way. Lawson Carita, thanks for joining us. Appreciate, Appreciate it. it. Thank you so much. Baseline to Baseline with Lawson Carita. Well, Coach, the fact that Lawson Creta doesn't like tennis is good for us, isn't it? It is, it is. You know, and Lawson is, is really, his game has taken off the last couple of weeks here, and, and it, it's because of what he's done on the defensive end and, and willingness to throw his body around. Nothing to do with his offense. Now, his offense is going to come. He's had some games, he made some buckets. But really, his, his impact he's had on his team and really his minutes has increased because of what he's done on the defense end and how he's willing to throw his body around. Yeah, you have to have guys that do the, the dirty things, right? The things that maybe don't show up in the box score, right? That, that's what winning is all about. Everybody, every team that wins has that guy on their team. As we continue on the Don Thornton Cadillac uh, feature segment, on 60 Seconds With, we play a game called Heads Up. Let's take a look at how the players reacted. I don't know this one, man. Okay, this dude is on the dollar bill. George Washington. Yep. <laughs> you took his uh, story, right? Yeah. I might. <laughs> <laughs> He's on the, uh, our first um, president. George Washington. There we go. He used to be a president, right? Yeah, he used, used to be a president. president. Yeah. Recently? I don't know. I was, I was, I was in Africa. All right, so it ain't I was in Africa, buddy. <laughs> one dollar. You got one, one dollar. Face. Dollar, face, middle, money, no, face on George, George Bush. No, no, it's not, it's not George, yeah. George yeah. Washington. George yeah. Washington. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> President. Yeah. Lincoln. Mm. On a dollar. <laughs> Oh, I thought you were just talking about money. No, money, dollar bill. Oh, I don't like dollar bills. Um, Who? I don't know if you're smart enough to get this one, bro. It's fine. I'm just playing with you. <laughs> uh, IQ the million. Mm, he. <laughs> Washington. <laughs> He's on the, uh, our first um, president. George Washington. There we go. You know what it is? It is, but I, I have to, I want to explain the way you would get it. Alright, uh, I feel like I'm about to mess this up too. You probably is. <laughs> I feel like I'm about to mess this up too. <laughs> Wait. George Washington. Oh. <laughs> you already know, you already know. Big George. He was the president. Alright, we're working with it. Which president? Okay. He has a. Oh! Um. He has a state name after him. A state you definitely should know. George Washington? Ooh, look at you, boy. Hey, you said I should know it. I mean, I'm from Washington. I'm from Washington. He is from Washington. It was his face, but I guess that was his face. To have biological children because of contracting smallpox. We're back on the Frank Cave Show as you get ready for no midweek game and then the Sunday contest at Wichita State. Coach, what do you get done in the midweek game? Do you take a deep breath or what? You do, and, and you know, this is a we're, we're needed a, a break and uh. Uh, you know, we'll take a couple of days off, but we'll get after it and make some adjustments, maybe add a couple of things we want to do. Um, and then we got an important game on Sunday at Wichita. And Wichita State's awfully good, and Tulsa played, you played your hearts out in the game here, losing by three. Going to have to even amp it up more to win there, right? No question. And they're, and they're, they're great in their building, and they're coming off two losses, and they got a game midweek against Central Florida. We expect to see them playing at their very best. All right, Coach, good luck. Thank you. That wraps it up for the Frank Hayes Show. For the coach, I'm Bruce Howard. So long for now. The Frank Hayes Show, brought to you by Don Thornton Cadillac, Pepsi, River Spirit, TTCU, The Credit Union, Bill Knight Ford, and St. Francis Health System.
The Frank Haith Show has been a presentation of Golden Hurricane Sports Properties and a King Vision production.